So here we are. We're going to be kind. Be kind we are going to be combining like terms in an effort to solve an equation, and of course we do have some. We have some fractions here, and we're not going to change them to decimals, because it's rude unless we're told we're allowed to. So the deal here with this one is that. I had intended to give you this, but due to a typo, I had given you this one. So I allowed people, because some people had already finished this one by the time I realized my error. So I let you choose. Either way, the combining like terms part will be exactly the same. So let's go ahead and start doing that here. The first thing, of course, we get to do is distribute. But in this case, it's a negative 3. Woo! Woo! So fun! negative 3 times x minus negative 3 times 2. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x minus negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Minus a minus, of course, is a plus 6. And bring down the rest of the problem that we left behind. I know that a lot of you find that negative 3 minus 3 confusing. They really mean the same thing. Don't get hung up on something that is not meant to be confusing. Okay, so I've got, I've gone ahead and boxed in. I've got 4x minus 3x plus 2x. 4x minus 3x is just a plain old x. Plus 2x leaves me with 3x. Over here, I've got plus 6 minus 10. So that's positive 6. Take away 10 is minus 4. Bring down this. Equals 2 and 1 half. Now, I'm going to solve it with the positive 1 first. Like I said um, in the last page, my intention really was for it to be negative, but I did make that error. So we're going to go for what it is. I ask myself the question, what's the opposite of minus 4? That, of course, is plus 4 on both sides. So it's 3x equals 6 and 1 half. The opposite of 3 times x is to divide both sides by 3. Those cancel. I'm left with x equals 6 and 1 half divided by 3. So I'm going to change this into its improper fraction. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 1 more is 13 over 2. Divide by 3 over 1. I'm going to come up here, keep the first, flip the second. Now we multiply. So that becomes 13 over 6. 6 goes into 13 twice with 1 left over. So the answer here would be 2 and 1 sixth. Now I know that this part right here is going to be identical when I look over here on this one. So I know that this is going to be 3x minus 4 equals, in this case, negative 2 and 1 half. So now when I do this one, I'm still going to add 4 to both sides, but this is going to look a little bit different in that the signs are different. Find the difference. It's got negative 2 and a half plus 4. I'm going to round that 2 and a half up to 3. 4 minus 3 is 1, and I've got another 1 half. And this is the larger absolute value, so it would be positive. And now I divide both sides by 3. These both cancel. I'm left with x equals 1 and 1 half divided by 3. Think about when you're cooking. Think about money. Really, I can do this out, but I certainly don't need to because I know that there's 3 1 halves here. You should actually know that 1 and 1 half is equal to 3 halves. And that would tell us, of course, that my final answer is that x equals 1 half. Now, like I said, I showed you both ways because of my typo. 
So you can put both in your notebook or you can choose the one that you did. Either way, there's your answer.